Tonight, an update on a sandhill crane that's been seen around Mayaca City for months, walking around with an arrow through its body. Now, we do want to warn you, some of those images may be a bit graphic. ABC 7's Rick Adams has the latest details. Well, the sandhill crane in this cage is lucky to be alive. It's now recovering after being struck by an arrow. Here's an image of the arrow that hit a sandhill crane in the Mayaka City area. As you can see on this x-ray, it struck the bottom back part of the bird. They were concerned it was pretty close to some of the vital organs like the liver, but it didn't damage the liver. So it was very fortunate that that arrow went through and was sticking out and didn't catch any vital or concealed and it was kind of in the area of the hip. The bird was seen by several people in your M and J Road in eastern Manatee County. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office has been keeping an eye out for it for several months and finally spotted it. Wildlife experts were called out to rescue it. A local vet performed surgery on it on Wednesday, removing the arrow, and the bird is now healing at the Wildlife Inc. facility in Bradenton Beach. It'll be with us for several days. It's on antibiotics. We'll be feeding it and uh, making sure it's healed back. It has a mate out there and we will be reuniting it with a mate in the near future. The Sandhill Crane is expected to make a full recovery. Authorities are hopeful that the arrow's identification information will lead them to the person responsible for this. These birds are protected under the Migratory Bird Act and it could lead to a $15,000 fine. This was just a malicious thing done by somebody. Why they would want to shoot a sandhill crane, they don't bother people. And if you have any information as to who did this, you're being asked to contact the Manatee County Sheriff's Office or FWC immediately. Reporting from Bradenton Beach, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Okay, Rick, thank you.